Yo guys, what is up? It's me, Epidemic Josh, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, guys, is a Q&A video, something I have never ever done before. It has given uh, me the opportunity to answer questions from my viewers and subscribers. Um, they they have uh, asked some very interesting questions. And some rather funny questions, which, uh, you know, I'll answer anyway. <laughs> so all these questions that I've been asked by you, the viewers and subscribers, um, I will answer to the best that I possibly can. Um, I've not had loads and loads of questions, but um, I've gone through all the questions and picked the ones that, you know, will be good to answer. So then guys, let's get on with the Q&A video. When did I last do Naughty Naughty? Oh Lord. Um, <laughs> um, after my most, after my uh, WWE Royal Rumble stream, to be honest. Um, I, <laughs> I don't even know why you asked that question, but um, after the Royal, after the WWE, uh, WWE 2K20 Royal Rumble uh, stream. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I just answered that question. Moving on to the second question then. Okay, Callum, uh, what is the capital of Italy? Well. You must be very stupid, well, some people must be very stupid not to know this, but the capital city of Italy is, um, uh, Rome, Rome, Rome's the capital, or is Milan? I don't, I don't know, oh, why did you ask me that question? Um, Rome, I think, hopefully. Yeah, Rome. Rome is the capital of Italy. Oh God! <laughs> putting my geography, putting my geography um, brain to the test. Uh, anyways, next question, guys, is again from Callum Coyle. What is the most popular game that you stream? Well, um, I don't have the most popular game, but. I have to probably say at the moment is uh, FIFA 22. I mean, FIFA 22 is the most recent like sports game that'll come out, and everybody likes a little bit of FIFA. It's just football, or as the Americans call it, soccer, soccer. Uh, I don't know what Australians call it. I think they call it soccerous. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, the most popular game that I stream at this moment in time is um, FIFA. FIFA 22. Moving on to the next question then folks. Again from Callum Coyle. Um, is being a YouTuber hard work? Um, hmm. That's actually a really good question to be honest Callum. Um, it is hard work because you've got to think about what you are streaming, you've got to think about what you're saying in the streams and you've got to make sure that you provide the best content for the viewer. Um, in my view, it's, it's hard work, but it pays off at the end of the video. Uh, at the end of the day, if you have fun, then it, it it's not hard work, but yeah, it's hard work, but the result of the hard work is you have some fun doing it. So the next question comes from Enfield Gaming. Hi James. Uh, first of all guys, I would like to congratulate Enfield Gaming on uh, getting his girlfriend pregnant. Um, he is going to be a father so congratulations to him and I hope that he raises his son or daughter to not make the same mistake as him and support Arsenal um, but I hope that one day we get to see daddy daughter or daddy son 
um, together streaming or making videos. But um, on to the question then. So Enfield Gaming asks, one billion pounds or stay with your fiance? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, a billion pound, I mean, is fantastic. I mean, I could probably buy anything I wanted, but money is not in comparison to staying with my fiance. I mean, at the end of the day, um, me and my fiance, you know, we could we'll have a family soon, one day, and a family life is better than having one billion pounds. Um, I could really ask the same question for you, James. One billion pound, I'll stay with your girlfriend. I know what you'd probably choose. You'd probably choose the billion pound. <laughs> On to the next question then, for Callum Coyle, Callum Coyle again with the geography question. What is the capital of Japan? Now, this is a... Uh, the easiest geography question I'm probably going to get asked today. Um, the capital of Japan is Tokyo. Uh, I've never been to Tokyo. And by looking at it in films and by looking at the sheer size of it, I'd probably start shitting myself if I was left alone in Tokyo. For one, I'd probably wouldn't know where to go and I'd easily get lost. So yeah, the capital of Japan is Tokyo. Moving on guys to the next question. Enfield Gaming asks, have you been to London? Yes, I have. Um, it's big. It's, uh, well, depends out. well. Uh, yeah, I've been to London. Um, my uh, opinions of London is generally good. Apart from the traffic problem. Means it takes you like five hours to get from A to B. But yeah, I've been to London on a few occasions. I've been to Wembley Stadium. I've been to Buckingham Palace. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd like to go to London again. But it just costs too much in London. Again, getting to London costs too much as well. So, I mean, I might not be going to London anytime soon. So, then, uh, so then guys, uh, moving on to the next question, which is... Again, from Enfield Gaming. So, like I said, Enfield Gaming, again, asks a few questions. It's not just one question, it's a few. So, have I met a famous person? Yes, I have. I've met a few. Um, in your questions, you didn't specify which famous person, if I did. Um, your next question is, have you been to a Premier League match? Yes, the most recent Premier League match and my first ever Premier League match was uh, just a couple of weeks ago when I went to watch Burnley versus Brentford. I had a fantastic time there, a fantastic experience and uh, I don't know whether it's just a sheer look of me being there or me being there that makes Burnley win, but Burnley did beat Brentford to get their first Premier League win of the season. Um, your next question in this group of questions you've asked is have I been have you been on TV yes I have I have been on TV um, I used to be a season ticket holder of Bradford City uh, and I've been mm. on TV a few times um, so yeah have I met a youtuber um, not actually met a youtuber no um, I was hoping to meet a few YouTubers at the Burnley Brentford game, but I didn't. And it would be nice to meet a YouTuber. The the uh, the YouTuber I would like to meet most is uh, Red Devil Joshua. He is a fantastic YouTuber, and you know he's like me, proper down to earth kind. And you know you can have a la you can have a decent laugh and joke with the guy. But other than that, no, I've not met a YouTuber. And which TV programme do I like? Well, there's a few. Um, I like the Eurovision Song Contest. I watch that every year, um, if I, if it's possible. 
even though the United Kingdom always performs so fucking poorly, I rip my eyes out when I see the uh, votes coming in. Um, I love watching The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, South Park, and Miranda as well. And uh, one of my most favourite ones is because I always laugh, and that is uh, Mrs. Brown's Boys. So, moving on to the next question. Again, the next question comes from Enfield Gaming. Have you been on a plane? <laughs> yes, uh, I've been on a plane a fair few times. Um, only as far as Spain though. You know, I've been to the Canary Islands. Most, uh, well, namely Tenerife. I've been to the Balearic Islands, which is Minor uh, Mallorca. Um, a few times I've never ever been to mainland Spain and yeah the, I think the last time I went on a plane if I can remember correctly was um, I think 2007 I think um, anyways moving on to the next question the next the next question comes from my Amazing fiance. So my fiance asks, "Who is your favorite YouTuber, babe?" Okay, I I have a few. Um, one of them is me. <laughs> I'm only joking. I think she means other than myself. Um, but there's a few favorites that I have. Uh, Grace still plays is one because uh, he's just genuinely funny. Um, TFIL, it's a group of uh, you know people that do loads of things like overnight in abandoned places, and you know they're just a they're just a fun, um, funny bunch of people, and you know I enjoy watching them, and um, I I have many favourites, but the top three favourites, well my top few favourites apart from myself is Grey Still Plays, um, TFIL. And uh, this is a special shout out as well to Red Devil Joshua. Red Devil Joshua is one of my favourite YouTubers as well. He's um, he can have he can have a laugh and joke with anyone. He has a conversation with anyone. He is really kind. He's really funny, and you know he's not really boring at all. So yeah, I enjoy watching Red Devil Joshua every time he streams. And he always makes me feel welcome when, uh, you know, he reads out my comments. So, yeah. So, they are my favorite, well, they are my fa most favorite YouTubers, I'd say, in uh, the list of many favorites that I have. So, moving on to the next question, then. Again, my, uh, my next question comes from my fiance. If you were president of the world, what law would you approve? Um, I would approve for a um, for a prison sentence for women who falsely allege rape. Um, I mean, the reason for this is that um, there's many. Many lads and many lasses, you know, especially young ones, teenagers and stuff, to go out to nightclubs, to, to go back to, you know, to find a partner or whatnot and enjoy the night with someone, uh, to go back to a place, they have sex and everything. And, you know, if the woman doesn't enjoy it, there's been times where the woman actually goes to the police and reports that the, per that the male or the man or whatever has raped her. And... Sometimes his life can be destroyed because um, she's claiming that he raped her because she didn't enjoy the sex. So the law I would approve is that um, there would be a prison sentence for uh, women or girls that falsely allege rape. Because there's so many women out there that to go and cry rape to police because you know they had sex with with someone and they didn't enjoy it 
a um, or in in a way to destroy someone's life even though it's been consensual so yeah the law i would pass babe is um if i was president of the world i would pass a law that makes sure that women that falsely allege rape would go to prison because at the end of the day a woman falsely alleging rape is potentially putting a man's life then well the pe potentially destroying a man's life so yeah moving on to the next question Callum Coyle asks uh, not just one but three questions um, when did you and your fiance have your first date well um, I think it's a couple of days after we got together um, I went over to her her dad's house and uh, you know we we went to the local park and just you know walked around the park cuddled snogged had loads of pictures so yeah our first day was in uh, you know <laughs> in a park uh, moving uh, moving on to your next question what is your favorite game Ooh. Uh, that game is really tough to describe. I have a, I have a few favourites to be honest, Callum. Um, there's FIFA, there's GTA, there's Red Dead Redemption, there's The Crew 2, and there is uh, Train Sim World, and even Bus Simulator is up there as well. So I have a, I don't have no definitive favourite game. Although the most definitive favourite game I'd say is probably going to be GTA because of the amount of things you can do, the amount of fun you can have, etc, etc. But I don't have a definitive favourite game, to be honest, because I have a few favourite games. And uh, the third question in this question from you is, what is your favourite FIFA game? Ooh, um, <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. Um, because they're all the same and each year some things get worse and some things get better uh, I'd probably say FIFA 19 because that is the first ever time that um, that the FIFA, that FIFA that FIFA game had um, a licensed Champions League and Europa League in and it felt so good to be able to have a proper Champions League game but uh, FIFA 22 is becoming one of my favourites as well because it is so realistic in more ways than one so yeah um, I'd say for now though FIFA 19 is my favourite FIFA game so moving on to the next question then guys Again, from Callum Coyle. When are you having a kid? Uh, well, if I'm being honest, um, me and my fiance we are actively trying, trying for a baby. Um, you know, we can't say when we are having a kid. It's not like we can say, oh yeah, in 2035 we'll have a kid. Yeah, because... You know, all you can. Um, there's no definitive period when you can have a kid, to be honest. Um, but to be completely honest with you, Callum, we are we are trying to have a kid because uh, you know we want to start a family and um, prove all my haters wrong. Well, prove to all my haters that I can be a family man, and it gives me an opportunity to be the dad that my dad failed to be. So yeah. Uh, we are actively trying for a kid, Callum. Moving on to the next question then, guys. Uh, the next question comes from OG FIFA. Um, Mum or Dad? <laughs> uh, I'd have to say I'd prefer my mum because uh, my dad, I don't think he knows how to be a father, to be honest. Uh, now, I'm not going to get into too much detail about it because uh, I'm probably going to get a load of hair for it, but 
my dad has not been the greatest dad. In fact, he has been a failure of a father. Um, when I was a young kid, he used to live round the corner, literally round the corner on the next street. And every time uh, he said, oh, you were gonna pick us up, me and my sister. Um, sometimes if he'd ring up and say, oh, I can't have the kids this weekend, or I can't have the, I can't see the kids today. And when, when my mum asked why, he, he just simply said, oh, my car's broke down. Well, you don't need a car to go two minutes around the corner to the next street, dear, so. And uh, recently, I mean, uh, he, when my sister had her first child, um, that is when obviously my dad became a granddad for, for like the first time. And instead of giving baby clothes to my sister for free, he tried charging her for baby clothes, which I think is really ridiculous because, you know, why would he charge your own daughter to buy baby clothes from you for your grandson or granddaughter? I just don't understand. And not just that, but there's been times where he, he has laid claim that he has only three kids instead of five. And, you know, when uh, I think I turned I was 16 or 18 and my dad didn't send me a birthday card or even wished me happy birthday on Facebook or even didn't even bother getting in touch to wish me happy birthday. Um, when my sister asked him where my birthday card was, he just simply replied, well, you and Josh only come to me when you want out. So, yeah. And he's not, he's not bothered with me since, so, you know. Uh, that's why I prefer my mum, because obviously my mum practically has been my dad as well. But, you know, it is what it is, and yeah. So, moving on to the next question, guys. Yet again, OG FIFA asks, throwing your PS out of the window or killing yourself? Um, that, to be honest, is a little bit of a brutal question, to be honest. Uh, I would rather throw my PS out of the window because um, I have a PS4 currently with uh, future plans to grab myself a PS5. But um, I'd rather throw my PS out of the window because PS's can easily be replaced whereas if I killed myself I wouldn't be here anymore and if uh, I am reborn or whatnot I could be a kid that lives in Africa or I could be a kid that lives in America or you know uh, whatnot but uh, I'd rather I'd rather throw my PS out of the window because I can replace a PS easy whereas me I'm not easily replaceable, although some people think I am, but they can go fuck themselves. Um, but yeah, killing myself, I mean, I'm only in my early 20s, so I'm only in, I'm only, yeah, I'm only in my 20s, so um, I've got like 40, 50 years left before I possibly die, and I've got a lot to do in the 40, 50 years. I've got places to go. Um, adventures to undertake, you know. So I'd I'd rather throw my PS out of the window to be honest with G FIFA. And then moving on to the next question. Again, uh, OG FIFA asks, when are you gonna vlog? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, my most recent vlog is the Burnley versus Brentford match. And I am planning to do another vlog um, for a championship team because if I do a vlog for a championship team, I don't know which championship team yet, but uh, it's going to be one that's close by. Um, if I do the championship match vlog, match day vlog, which I'm planning or in production, well not in production, but pardon me. 
in planning. Um, that means I've been to a match in the top five divisions, which is the Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two, and National League. Um, <clears throat> all I would say is uh, just keep on coming into my streams, and you will find out. Because, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure what, when my next vlog will be. It could be next week, it could be next month, it could be a month after. I don't know. Moving on to the next question. Um, when did you and your fiancé get together? Um, the 21st of August, 2019. So we've been together uh, just over two years now. So it's good. She annoys the crap out of me and I annoy the crap out of her. But that is what relationships are. You annoy each other but you love each other. But yeah, um, it's been the happiest like two two years of my life so far. So yeah. Um, but they've flown by so yeah. Anyways, moving on to the next question again. Enfield Gaming asks, how long have you done YouTube for? Um, I did my first ever live stream on YouTube. Uh, my first ever video live stream, whatever you want to call it. I did my first ever YouTube video slash live stream. Like I said, whatever you want to call it. On the 29th of January uh, 2020, well, this year, I started uh, 29th of January this year, and my first ever stream was uh, the East Coastway DLC on Trains and World. And, you know, I, re I really enjoyed it, and because I had loads of people watching, well, not loads of people, but because I had um, people watching and engaging in conversation and everything um, it kind of urged me to do more and to where I am now compared to the first day I don't regret it so yeah um, 29th of January this year is when I I started YouTube moving on to the next question then from again from Enfield Gaming uh, which takeaway food do you like? Um, I like my Chinese food, uh, my egg food youngs, my, uh, my egg fried noodles, my beef in black bean sauce, uh, Chinese chicken curry, so something from Chinese. Uh, I also like uh, my Indian takeaway food as well, you know, your doner kebabs, your burgers, your pizzas, so yeah, um, that is like the takeaway foods that I like. Moving on to the next question then, guys. Callum Coyle, again, um, Callum Coyle asks, how old was you when you started school? Um, well, here in the United Kingdom, we, we practically start school as, as young as three because we go to nursery. Um, we go to nursery, then we go to uh, reception, um, year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, and year six in primary school. Then we go up to secondary school or high school, which is uh, year seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, with, which is where you take your GCSEs. Then you can either fuck off to college or stay in school for an extra two years and become a sixth farmer. Um, taking away the nursery factor, you start school at probably the age, I started at the age of uh, five, so four or five years old is when you start school here in the UK. I'm not sure about how it is in Ireland or Canada or the US or any other country in the world, but we generally start school at the age of five here in the UK and we finish our schooling education at the age of 16. Which is where then you either stay in school for an extra two years till you're 18 and do sixth form, or you fuck off to college and you do, you know, college. So you start school 
theoretically, and I started school at the age of uh, four, five, I think five, um, and you stop schooling at the age of uh, 16, then you're going to college or sixth form until you're 18, then when you're 18, it's up to you what the hell you want to do in life. So, yeah, um, on to the next question then, folks. Enfield Gaming asks, uh, Coke or Pepsi? Uh, oh, God. Um, I like both of them. Uh, I like both of them. I mean, there's really no difference in taste between them both, in my opinion. But I like Coke because, you know, um, Coke is the far more superior drinks brand. So, yeah, Coke. Moving on, guys, to the next question. OG FIFA asks, where are you from? Uh, in the most simplest terms, I am from the United Kingdom. The fantastic country that everybody hates across the world for because we get involved in other countries' problems. Don't blame me. I, I blame our government, our lame government that doesn't know how to run a country. But um, yeah, basically I come from the United Kingdom, um, I, I come from England and I come from a city called Bradford, yeah, um, the less said about Bradford the better to be honest, I wish I could move elsewhere but you know, I'm here in Bradford so yeah, um, I'll probably die in Bradford too, too sure. Well, shit. Anyways, guys, um, moving on to the next question then. Um, CEO of asks, favorite candy or sweet? Um, hmm. I have a few favorites actually. Uh, M and M peanuts. Hmm. Uh, Smarties, Skittles, uh, M and M's in general. Um, Hershey's. Um, Cadbury whole nut chocolate um, Reese's peanut butter cups so yeah those are my, like, my favourite candies or sweets um, so yeah here in the UK we call them sweets over in America and Canada and other countries you call them candy so yeah moving on to the next question then guys oh OG FIFA asks, what is your favourite drug? Wow, um, <laughs> uh, it's a, bit, a little bit of an awkward question to ask OG FIFA to be honest. Uh, I don't do drugs, so I can't tell you what my favourite drug is. Um, I'd say caffeine, because you know I love drinking my coffees. And I'd say love as well because love is everybody's favourite drug. But I don't have a favourite drug because I don't do drugs. Um, I do I do drink every, I do drink every so often, but I don't take drugs. I don't smoke. I don't do any drugs because I mean, uh, you know, it's in my view, it's just not right. So I don't do drugs and therefore I have no favourite drugs. Apart from caffeine and love. Caffeine is obviously in the coffees, which I like drinking coffee. And love is because I'm in love. So yeah. Other than that, I don't have a favourite drug because I don't do drugs. Moving on to the next question. OG FIFA asks. When are you getting a face camera? Um, to be quite honest, uh, OG, uh, that is actually a good question. Um, from the day I started streaming back on the 29th of January 2021, which is the current year that we are in, I, um, I've been streaming without a face cam. Obviously, when I've been doing uh, my videos such as... Uh, Premier League predictions, vlogs, etc., and monthly updates. 
you guys have seen this ugly fucking face here. Um, but if I get a face cam, I fear that all my subscribers and views will run away because they'll see how fucking ugly I am. Um, because I am fucking ugly, to be honest. And um, but I I don't know to be honest. You'd have to uh, you'd have to come into the streams and uh, you know find out because. A decent face cam for PlayStation is like £40 and although I can afford it, I don't want to spend £40 on a face camera just yet because obviously bills come first. I live in a place of my own. Bills come first, f um, shopping comes first and then it's all the niceties. Um, so I don't know for definite but it will be very soon though, I can guarantee you. So guys, without further ado, moving on to the next question. Again, OG FIFA asks, what is your favourite dessert? Hmm. Do you know what? I'm just going to be upfront and honest. My, my uh, favourite dessert is cheesecake. Cheesecake. I love it. I have no idea why I love it, but I just love it. I, I just do. I love my chocolate cheesecakes, I love my vanilla cheesecakes, I just love cheesecakes to be honest. That is my favourite dessert. And uh, also ice cream as well. So guys, uh, without further ado again, let's move on to, the, to see what the next question is. Enfield Gaming has asked, uh, how did we meet? Um... I was doing a stream and uh, you came into the stream and you said hello. Um, basically, that's how we met. We got talking and now you're one of my moderators on the channel and you come into every near, near enough every stream going. Um, obviously, it's got to a point where we are friends on social media as well. And yeah, I mean, um, basically, it's just, just the basics how we met really. You came into one of my streams and we, ta we started talking. We got along. So, guys, uh, moving on to um, the next question. So, guys, this is the final question of the Q and A, and I've basically probably kept the best one until last. CEO of asked. Do you want Chelsea to sign any new players in the transfer win in the January transfer window? The basic question would be yes, but the complex question would be no. No complex question. Um, oh, complex answer would be no. Um, at the moment, Chelsea are flying high in the Premier League. They've got the players that can potentially win them the Premier League this season. They've got the likes of Timo Werner. Um, Kante, Edward Mende, um, Lukaku, and so far Chelsea are flying high in the Premier League. However, um, some players might underperform, and you know it really depends on the manager, really, on Thomas Tuchel, who he wants to sign. Does he want to bolster Chelsea even more? Or is he content with the players that he's got? Or even will he ship off a few players that aren't part of his plans going forward and end up selling some players? We don't know, but in a way, it's like me basically yes and no. Yes, because uh, new faces at Chelsea would be a good idea, but no, because Chelsea already have... Um, players that are equipped to win trophies so yeah guys um so yeah that is the answer to your question ceo so then guys that is the end of the q a um 
video some very good questions some rather weird questions like mum or dad or um when are you having a kid but and one from zoe as well um that one went that one about the last time i had naughty naughty but anyways folks um i really appreciate you tuning in to watch this video i hope you all enjoyed watching if you did then don't forget to hit that thumbs up and if you are new to the channel or not yet subscribed, then come and subscribe to the channel to ensure that you don't miss out on any fantastic content that is coming your way in the weeks and months ahead. If I'm streaming a game that you like to play, then feel free to join. Everyone and anyone is welcome. Um, I would really appreciate I would really appreciate it if you can share my content with your family, your friends, and everyone you know. Um, I do have two goals set out. So uh, one of the goals is that if uh, I get to 500 subscribers by December the 31st, I will stream GTA for 18 hours. But if you guys can go one better and get me to 1,000 subscribers by December the 31st, I will then stream GTA for 24 hours to kick off the new year. Only you guys can make that happen. I, I honestly wouldn't mind streaming for 24 hours. It's something I've never ever done before. I've never even gamed for 24 hours straight before. So that will be a new challenge for me. But the challenge, the real challenge is if you guys can get me to 500 or 1000 subscribers, I will forever appreciate it. And yeah. If you guys also get me to a thousand subscribers, that gives me the option to make up a community, which means that my viewers and subscribers can choose what games I stream. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I've been Epic Gamer Josh, and it's been an absolute privilege privilege to bring you in this video. Um, <clears throat> until until next time, folks. Stay safe. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next stream. Peace out guys and thank you for watching.